I am a magnet to money. I now have more than I need. I am a magnet to money. Money, money loves me. I am a magnet. Hello, this is Michelle Blood, and I am so excited to be able to present to you today, Mr. Money Magnet himself, Reverend Ike. In April 2006, after 10 years of writing down my goal of wanting to meet Reverend Ike, after 10 years, not only did we get to meet him, we absolutely got him to do this amazing teleconference call, which I am so happy to present to you today. This man has ministered to millions of people's minds all over the world to teach them prosperity principles and the consciousness of money. He is the man who has taught so many people, world leaders, athletes, religious leaders, politicians, movie stars, how to attract what you want so that you can be, do and have all that you would like to have and love to have and desire to have. So some of this recording uh, may be a little distorted when all of the audience comes in because we had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people on this call from all over the world. Actually, I think it was over a thousand people from all over the world that came on this historical moment because Reverend Ike does not do this sort of thing, teleconference calls and anything anymore. So this is Reverend Ike, April 2006, Money Consciousness. Welcome to this wonderful call, this historical moment with the awesome Reverend Ike. And he is the success and prosperity preacher. He has been a minister, a teacher, a motivator, evangelist, counselor and pastor to millions of people for well over 50 years. And he dared to go. Can you guys imagine what it was like back then where theologians, Bible teachers and preachers would not? And he had his, you know, amazing TV show, radio, huge meetings, and he had the nerve to pe teach prosperity now, long before anybody else. I mean, I know that even today, some of our closest friends and family will say we're all nuts, we're all woo woo because we're into mind science, and that we're into loving God in us. And Reverend Ike is the the minister who really, really started this, he just started with a handful of faithful supporters and then he turned out those people how to get turned on to life to show them. He's the one who said how to be, do and have. Everybody else has plagiarized and shares it later, but Reverend Ike is the one who started it all. He's attracted and taught people from all over the world, ordinary people, rich, poor, famous, movie stars, political figures, sports champions, even priests and rabbis. He is... To this day, he has thousands of testimonies and letters pouring in still to this day from all over the world from the absolute amazing stuff that people have received, good health, healing, joy, love, success, prosperity, good fortune, and more money. So we are so excited and honored to have Reverend Ike on the call. Everybody give Reverend Ike some love. Yay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Michelle. I draw you into my consciousness and reality of divine love, success, prosperity, good fortune, and infinite money. And it's good to be here with you today. Thank you so much, Reverend Ike. Thank you for helping wake and shake up this world to their true God-given potential which you teach and we all know now is unlimited. You, you are the greatest person I know who teaches us all how to be all that we can be. So if we could just start, if you could give us a little bit about how I've just um, muted everybody out now, but um, we can bring them back in at any time, everybody that's on the call. How did you begin this amazing ministry? It must have been so challenging back then. Well, yes. Um, it's interesting. I started preaching when I was 14. And uh, way back then, and increasingly, people's great problem and hang-up seemed to have been the lack of money. Right. And counselors, marriage counselors, tell us that 
the one problem that breaks up marriages more than anything else is the money problem. <laughs> and I've seen a lot of people get well in their bodies and a lot of other things, good things happen uh, when they solve their money problems. And so I began to uh, minister to people in that regard. And my mantra is, for example, that I mention in every letter, good health, happiness, love, success, prosperity, good fortune, and unlimited money. And I want you to receive these words as they go out because these words are blessings and these words will charge all of you for all of the blessings that we mention. Yes. Everybody says yes to that. We've got one of our ringtones with Reverend Ike saying it. How about everybody just say, health, happiness, happiness love, love, success, success prosperity, and money. Happiness, prosperity, and money. Happiness, prosperity, and money. Happiness, prosperity, and money. I can just see the money coming out of your mouths. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Well. So, Reverend Ike, what are the most important steps we can take towards having money consciousness? I'll have to begin that by giving you the three levels of money. Now, level number three, I'm beginning backward, is the material level. And most people are on the material level of money, and some never think of money any higher than the material level, the coin of the realm, the finance, and so on. But that is really the lowest level of money, and I'm not knocking it. We need it on that level. And then level two is the psychic, psychological level of money, because money is also a psychic entity. This is why we need to learn to think right and believe right about money because money is a psychic in it, uh, energy and we should not ever insult money or say anything negative about money. Now let's go to the highest level of money and this is where I want to help all of you rise to today. And the highest level of money is the spiritual level. It's that level where you come to the knowledge, where you know that I am money. Everybody say, I am money. For a second, there's so many people on the call. Oh, that yes. was and awesome. That, How powerful was that with everybody saying that? <laughs> that was great. And, and that is the highest level of money. And so from now on, I want you to begin to deal with money from that highest level, and it will obtain on the other two levels the psychic level and the material level. You'll even find money materializing in your hands and pockets and in your clothing and, and in various ways that intellectually you won't understand. And by the way, uh, this teaching that I give is not just simply an intellectual exercise. It is an exercise in consciousness. And to specifically address the question that Michelle posed, this is what we have to do. We have to exercise our consciousness of money and of all good 
on the very highest level and realize that I am money. If you want to do a healing, start from the spiritual level. I am healing. I am whole. I am well. And you will discover that that will obtain on the psychic level as well as on the material and physical level. Now, for a subject, I'm using already, what is money? In various definitions, I'll use various definitions of money, and it may sound intellectually as if they are different, but they're really not. Now, here is a long-running definition of money, and I'll slow it down just a little bit in case there are those who are taking notes. Money is the love energy of believing and feeling that I am. See, whatever good you desire to be, to do, and to have on the material level, you must go to the spiritual level and possess it, claim it, affirm it. And that, that is what Jesus meant when he taught his disciples to pray, Our Father which art in heaven. You see, that immediately projects us to our highest level the level of the Father, the level of our spiritual origin, source, and supply of all God, good love. So again, money is the love energy of believing and feeling that I am. And let me insert here also the Bible opens by describing to us how God the Almighty created the earth. It said that the earth was without form and void. And many times people feel that way. And a lot of them <laughs> feel that way about money. Well, I don't have any money. And again, never say that you don't have money. You do. To rush ahead in a sense, your self-image is really your money on the personal level. Because whatever you believe yourself to be, you will manifest that. That's why on the spiritual level of money, we say, I am money. I am help. You see, because I am is God. Mm -hmm. And every time you use the term I am, you are really saying God. Every time... You use the word the, T-H-E. You're really saying God. And we should never take the name of the Lord in vain because that name of that nature reproduces whatever you feel, whatever you believe, whether it is so-called good, bad, or indifferent on the psychic and on the material level. Now, the earth was without form and void, and that could represent our experience, where there seems to be a lack of what we desire, of the good that we desire. And listen what God did. It sounds so easy. It says, and God said, Ah, you see, every one of you have money in your mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let us affirm, I am a big money mouth. 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 Okay. <laughs> so, 
God said, let there be light, according to the King James Version. But esoterically, what God said was, I am light. And you will discover there in several of those verses that opens the Bible, where God said, let there be. But esoterically, what God said was, I am, and whatever God said, I am, became. Mm. And so it is the same with you. You have the power of creation in your mind, your consciousness, and in your mouth. And when you speak it, it begins to express. Now let me back up again and start the, the long money definition that I have for you. Money is the love energy of believing and feeling that I am. And one of my tapes that Michelle is offering on the web here is titled, Feeling Gets the Blessing. Feeling Gets the Blessing. And I'd like to play with words for a moment and say, Feeling lets the blessing. Say that three times, everybody. Feeling something lets it come into manifestation on the material level as well as on the psychic level. And this addresses uh, Michelle's question at the beginning also. What we need to learn to do is to meditate. That first psalm says that the blessed man or the blessed mind, the secret of the blessed man or the blessed mind or the prosperous mind is that he meditates on the law of the Lord day and night. And one of the techniques that you can use is just to simply sit quietly and uh, on, a da on a daily basis and probably several times a day if it's only three minutes or five minutes and feel that you are already being, doing, and having the good that you desire. And you will discover that feeling Let's the blessing. Now, money is the love energy. You see, the experts in physics, the physicists, tell us that everything is energy. That's true on the physical level. It is also true on the spiritual level. of the metaphysical level. Money is the love energy. On Reverend Ike's tape, uh, one of the several that Michel has to offer, if you want to uh, get them, on the back of that tape, feeling gets the blessing, is a statement from Reverend Ike, that's me. It says, I must begin with the basic, wholesome emotion of love for myself and everyone. See, love is the beginning point, really, of everything, because it clears away all of the hatred. It forgives self, and it forgives every self. And you are going to find out in this practice that there's a lot of stuff that you must let go of. And it brings me to another tape that Michelle offers by Reverend Ike titled, Get Your Butt Out of the Way. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. Because you find out that what stops you many times, 
is that you have a but in the way. Well, I would like to do such and such a thing, but. I would like to have a lot of money, but. You have to get all those buts out of the way. Well, that tape deals uh, with all of that. And um, let me start this definition again. As I said, re-reminding you that this is not just simply an intellectual exercise. It's an exercise in consciousness because, and remember this, write it down if you have something. Only consciousness is anything mm -hmm. and everything. Only consciousness does anything and everything. Only consciousness has anything and everything. And so if you don't rise to this higher spiritual level in your relationship with money, you're really missing the big point. Money is the love energy of believing and feeling that I am. Because whatever I believe and feel that I am, with the love energy of my being, my mind, my consciousness is automatically purchased, obtained, and achieved in the marketplace of life on all levels. Oh my goodness, that is brilliant. The so way you, you see, say you're always shopping. Yes, automatically purchased. <laughs> buying. And let me use that word again, self-image. I think I introduced that a few moments ago. Mm. Self-image. Whatever your image of yourself is. And, uh, and Michelle, by the way, um has the Reverend Ike tape on visualization that deals with that. Whatever your image of yourself is, whatever you see yourself as, you automatically draw that to you. Jesus put it this way, if and I, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me, which I esoterically translate whatever idea or image of yourself you lift up in your mind will draw all corresponding manifestations unto you. So there are things that we must do concerning money on the material level but don't get hung up with money down on the material level. Go to the spiritual level and cultivate those feelings of I am money. Again, a verse of scripture. He who cultivates his mind shall have plenty of bread. <laughs> if any of you have ever been down in the hood or heard some hood talk, you know what bread, who knows what bread is? Oh, yeah, bread, yeah, absolutely. What is bread? Yes, dollar bills there. Money. Hey. Money, money. <laughs> and so you have to cultivate, this This again addresses uh, the question, what we must do in order to have money and to have more money that Michelle asked. We must cultivate. Yes, he who cultivates his land, it says. The land representing your mind, your consciousness, your self-consciousness. You must cultivate the idea, the feeling, the vision of yourself, being, doing, and having all the good that you desire. And this is the money that will buy it purchase it, 
obtain it, achieve it in the marketplace of life. So one thing I, I trust will be a result for you of this call today is that from now on you are going to deal with money from a higher level and you are going to be surprised in the intellect how it works. Now, <clears throat> money is the love energy of believing and feeling that I am because whatever I believe, and feel that I am with the love energy of my being, my mind, my consciousness is automatically purchased, obtained, achieved in the marketplace of life on all levels. Spiritual, psychic, psychological, material, financial, and in the coin of every realm of those of you who are listening from around the world. Now, I said a few moments ago that I am is God. Whatever you add to I am, that's again your self-image, your consciousness, your belief, your feeling, whatever you add to I am, you become. And at every moment of night and day, whether you are awake or whether you are asleep, your I amness, your consciousness, your belief, your feeling is busy shopping in the marketplace of life. As a matter of fact, while you're asleep, you are more busy than you are while you're awake. <laughs> yes. <laughs> This is why a good time to do the exercise is just before going to sleep. Yes. And never go to sleep feeling wrong or feeling bad. You quiet yourself. Read your books. By the way, Reverend Ike's got a book that Michelle has titled Health, Joy, and Prosperity for You. You read those books, you listen to your tapes, you meditate so that you go to sleep in a positive state of mind. Because a lot of the things and even the people that you meet during your waking life or your waking day, you meet them while you are asleep. Yes. Now, this will blow your mind, and I, I love to see people's faces when I tell them this. Do you know, you never meet anybody for the first time. <laughs> that is so true. It really is true. You I, never meet anybody yeah. for the very first time. First of all, you meet them on the spiritual and psychic level of life. You meet them on the psychic level of life first. And so this is why the Jewish book of the law says, let not the sun go down on your wrath, because if you go to sleep angry or uh, in a bad mood, while you're asleep, your subconscious self will go looking for people that are going to bring your anger back to you in your waking state. Now, so whatever you add to I am, by thinking, feeling, believing in your consciousness, you must become, it must come to you. It is the name and the nature of consciousness, of mind, of thought, to become whatever I believe and feel I am. So it's important that you begin this exercise of feeling that now, I am rich in every way. I am rich in every way. Everybody say that three times. I am rich in every way. I am rich in every way. I am rich in every way. I am rich. Right. 
Uh, that is very important. And you notice I'm not just on the material level when I use the term rich or when I use the term money. This takes us all the way back to the spiritual level. I am rich in every way. And again, it deals with my mantra. I am rich in good health, healing, love, catch this now, success, prosperity, and unlimited money. I am rich in every way. Just listen to this for a minute from our ringtone. Because it's so important, like Reverend Ike's saying, it's the I am and getting into the feeling. So every time your cell phone rings, you can hear Reverend Ike saying that. Have you got it set up, Trevor? Which one do you want? Health, happiness, love, success, prosperity, and money. 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 And I'm telling you, when you're waiting in the line at the post office and there's all these cranky people and you have that go on when your cell phone rings... You put a lot of happy faces. Everyone's turning around saying, who's saying all that stuff? <laughs> and we want to thank you again, Reverend Ike, for your wonderful ringtones. They're just phenomenal. Well, I thank you for uh, letting me be here to share this with you because it makes us all richer in every way. Can, can I wanted to speak about the um, feeling gets the blessing now, if that's okay, Reverend Ike. Sure. This is, I, I was just speaking earlier before you came on with all of our Musivation friends, uh, this six lesson CD we've now put up on our emusivation.com site as a download MP3 course. It's a six lesson course and I'm telling you everybody, the way the Reverend Ike has taken the story of Isaac's twins, Jacob and Isaiah, is just absolutely phenomenal. You really get the metaphysical, spiritual teaching of what these stories were all about because all, all of you good mind science people that are on the call right now, you know and you know that you know but sometimes you've got to hear it again in the right way and this six lesson course is absolutely phenomenal about feeling gets the blessing. How did you come to this? I mean there's no one else that even has ever looked at this story in this way. They've always looked at Jacob in a negative way, but when you look at realize that every every person in the story is who we are. Yes, well, when I read these things, sometimes these ideas just jump out at me. Sometimes I'll be looking up a scripture for to to uh, do a lesson with and I'll read the story, and something else leaps out at me. Like one Sunday morning, I was looking for a scripture, and I read, and Jesus entered into a ship and passed over to the other side. And it just leapt right out at me that if we want to get out of one situation and get into another, we must enter into the ship of a feeling, of a belief that we're already there. I know, I, I've listened to so many of your CDs, and I know that you feel your love so powerfully. There is nobody else that I've ever heard speak with, you know, it's like getting these, oh, I hope so, out of the ways. It's like this, I know so. And you truly do see the God in each person. And I know that's why when people have read your books and go through your CD programs, and anyone who's been blessed to hear you live, like we are all right now, Really get that. You know this truth. And that is where it all comes from. And love is the highest, highest, highest vibration there is. Now, we have a lot of good people that come to us at Musivation, Reverend Ike, and they've got challenges in their life. So let's hear from, from you, the master of this. How can we all see the God, the good in each person and experience in our life when it does seem challenging? Well, first of all, we must always begin with ourselves. Uh, again, the big mistake that is made a lot of times is that people try to change everybody else. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the funniest one, huh? <laughs> For example, every time, uh, and uh, Reverend, Reverend Ike says, I meet no one but me. 
is some aspect of myself, even the SOB. <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, it came to me the other day that the people that I have the great difficulties with are really my facilitators mm. that I am using to give me lessons, testings, and blessings of love. I'm using them. They are aspects of myself. They show me some stuff that's in me, again, that I don't recognize or don't want to recognize. And that makes it easier to love. That is so true. And I want to let everybody know about your your book, The Science of Living, because it is the clearest step-by-step -step instructional book to really help people. And I, so many people on our call have been studying for years, but it doesn't matter who you are or where you are. We have to be reminded of this every day. And when I read this, I would just get, I couldn't just read it through. I'd get into the chapter and it would just be amazing. I mean, it is really the clearest step-by-step -step instructional book to help people really, really get it. So could you share some important things that are in your magical book, The Science of Living? Yes. Uh, chapter 14, for example, is titled, What is Your Financial Psychology? And if you want a successful relationship with money and with your financial affairs, you have to get your, your money psychology straightened out. You have to be sure, for example that you're not kicking money away from you. One of the ideas that people have that kicks money away from them, uh, for example, is that, oh, money is so hard to get. Never say that. Again, Reverend Ike says, money has ears. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and money will hear you. And, and this is where we deal with money on the psychic level. See, psychically, money have ears. And if you say money is hard to get, and I'm crossing that out as I do that, you uh, mind control people may be saying cancel, cancel, cancel. <laughs> that you don't have the idea. Again, another idea that kicks money away from people is having some kind of a feeling, belief, or suspicion that money is evil. All that will kick money away from you. It will give you trouble with money, even if you have it on the material level. And by the way, money trouble is not simply the lack of material money. Money troubles, a lot of people have money, but they have trouble having it. And uh, the, the other day, <clears throat> somebody sent me a $10,000 tithe check. And I was had it on the desk, and I said, well, I'm going to send this in to process it. And the thought said to me, oh, you know, this is just a lot of trouble. I said, no, money, I welcome you. You are no trouble to me. Money, I welcome you. You are no trouble to me. Say that three times, everybody. You are my best buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that was that that was um, a, a one a, a wonderful minister who adores you. Um, a very good friend of ours, Dr. Lawrence Bond, who just said that, Reverend Ike. Uh huh. And and so you have to you have to have a welcoming, positive, loving psychology toward money instead of being afraid that it's evil or that it will make you evil. I am the master of money, you see, on the material level. Money is not my master. Money is my loving and obedient servant on the material level. And as long as you keep it in that context of relationship, there's no problem. Michelle? One of the uh, other things I wanted to talk about was with feeling gets the blessing. 
I, I wanted just to go a little bit more into that, if that's okay, because people, we, we, we've got these wonderful calls that we do with our groups, and we're so blessed that you're here today, and we're always talking about, you know, every day doing something. You, I love what you always say, look good, feel good, and smell good, <laughs> and how that makes such a difference to our consciousness and what we attract when we really, you know, it's like you say, if you see someone who has something that you want, bless them. If they've got a beautiful car and you don't have it, just don't, you know, how important it is to bless the banks when you go by them because feeling does get the blessing. Yes, and it is in this way that we cultivate the feeling of being, doing, and having the good that you desire. And that is extremely important. Um, who is it? Shakespeare in one of his plays says, if you assume a virtue, if you have it not. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the, the Bible says again, let the weak say, I am strong. And it follows that the poor say, I am rich. And I love that verse of Scripture also, which says, God lifts the poor out of the dust and the beggar out of the dunghill to set him among princes, meaning those who think God's thoughts. And this is what we have to do. We have to think God's thoughts. Because, frankly, our thought is God. God is thought. And the Lord is the law by which thought operates. And again, a lot of us tend to be intellectual. I tend to be intellectual too. And I catch myself intellectualizing a lot. That's why we have to meditate. Don't go intellectualizing. Feel yourself being, doing, and having the good that you desire. Uh, at the church in New York, I used to take people through the exercise of feeling, and they would close their eyes and sit on the stage of their imagination and say, now I see myself. And that's something else I want to say. You are always dealing with yourself. No matter who it is, no matter what it is, it's yourself. So don't go running around. Don't let your intellect of the conscious mind take you off on a wild goose chase about well I gotta fix this, I gotta fix that, I gotta do this, I gotta do that, I gotta do the other. One thing is needful. And you will get your direction when you begin to feel that you are the one who is being, doing and having the good that you desire. Michelle? Amen. <laughs> I want to let everybody know that it's really, really exciting that we now have this six-lesson course, Feeling Gets the Blessing. Uh, you can download it now so people from all over the world can get it immediately. And we have instructions on emusivation.com. That's E-M-U-S-I-V-A-T-I-O-N.com. We even have instructions on how you can turn your MP3s into CDs yourself so that way there's no shipping and handling and you can actually get that six-lesson course, Feeling Gets the Blessing. And for those people internationally, if you want more of Reverend Ike's products, you can go to um, on emuservation.com. On the left-hand side there, you'll see a form with Reverend Ike's best-selling products and you can download that form and you can just fax it to us. All the information is there on emuservation.com. And, of course, uh, we recommend everybody goes to Reverend Ike's wonderful website as well, which is www.revike.org, R-E-V-I-K-E dot -E org. And um, I, I'm just telling you, this, this, this has been since 1990 when I first heard you, Reverend Ike, on this tape. And I just wanted to, you're just absolutely amazing. And I just wanted to say again, Thank you so much, not just for us today on this call, but for the millions of people that you have helped all over the world for so many years wake up to the God in them, 
to what this thing called life is really, really about. You rock. We love you. And remember, also, Michelle has uh, Reverend Ike's tape. That's me. The master of money. I love that. Your Ten Commandments of Money is phenomenal. Yes, that's based on the Ten Commandments of Money. And you see, that deals with the mode of listening. The first disciple that Jesus called, the first discipline of the mind, was St. Peter, Simon Peter, who represents listening. And he listened to Jesus, meaning God in us as us, until his faith, his belief, his feelings solidified into rock faith so that he could not be moved. So anyway, you exercise your listening faculty of mind and get that master of money tape. Thank you, Michelle. God bless you. God love you, everybody. Thank you so much, Reverend Ike. Thank you, Carolyn. you'd like more of Reverend Ike's amazing products and you'd like them right now as an e-product, go to emusivation.com. That's E-M-U-S-I-V-A-T-I-O-N.com. That's emusivation.com. Get all of Reverend Ike's products. They are absolutely amazing. Listen to him every single day and you will attract all that you could desire and so much more I am a magnet to money I now have more than I need I am a magnet to money 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 loves me I am a magnet to money receive some amazing high vibrational success meditation tons and tons of free products go to michelleblood.com forward slash links